Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I'm Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. I am on day three, y'all, of four signs your breakthrough is on the way. Let's revisit. If you're just joining me today, right after I make this statement, I want you to stop it and go back and catch on catch up on day one and day two. Day one was hell broke loose. And it talks about the attacks that come when your breakthrough is on the way. Yesterday was about doubt. And you question, is that you, God? Is that you? Well, today, today is, woo, today is the one that usually takes us out. And I am praying that somebody listening is going to get the healing and the answer they need. I woke up with this series the other day, y'all, and the Lord was so heavy in my spirit. He was just showing me there were so many of us literally right there, literally right there and completely forfeit the blessing and the miracle. You've been waiting. Some people have been waiting 20 years. Some people have been waiting 20 weeks, 20 hours, 20 minutes. Some people have been waiting for things, 20 days, five years, four years, two years, six months. Eight years, 40 years. Some people have been waiting, literally waiting for the Lord to move, waiting for the Lord to act. And you're either caught up on the attacks, you're caught up on the doubt. And usually the thing that takes you over is the anger and frustration. So today's episode is called Big Mad. You big mad or you little mad? Either way, you don't need to be mad at all. Okay? So check this out. When you big mad, when you mad like that, the enemy has a field day. I mentioned yesterday when I was talking about doubt, how when you befriend doubt, you are giving the enemy access because you're now on his playground. Doubt is not a characteristic of Christ. It's not. So when you start doubting and questioning and you have confusion, who is the author of confusion? Let's answer that one together. One, two, three. The enemy. Right. So we know these are his cousins. These are his friends. They're all related. They do not want you to get that breakthrough. Because let me tell y'all something. If you have not listened to an episode I did a while back called Double, uh, I think it's called, uh, oh my God, I was about to say Double Minded. It's not, it's called seeing double. I'm sorry. That's it. It's called seeing double. I'm going to put a link underneath this episode. I need you to go back and listen to seeing double because it talks about how you don't realize it, but the enemy is in all of these uh, principalities. He can see what's going on here on earth because this is his playground, but he's also up there in the third heaven, just like the Prince of Persia was trying to stop Daniel when he was doing his 21 day fast. You follow me? So with that being said, he can see what's going to happen if you stick around and get the breakthrough. So what he said, he said, well, look, this is what I'm going to do. She can't see what's going to happen if she get with him. I already know it's going down. It's going to be beautiful. She can't see that if she hold on and stop ignoring the co-workers that's being messy and driving her. She can't see that I know if she could just stick this out. All of them going to get fired and she going to get promoted. She can't see that. He can't see that if he just keeps working on it and keeps working on it. And even though everybody telling him no, he don't know. God made all them people tell him no because that's all the people he was running behind. That's all the people he was chasing. He don't know that once God dropped that little message on him and he go to the right person, they going to give him everything he need and then some. They're going to they gonna fund the whole thing. But he keeps looking for the wrong people to do it. See what I'm telling y'all? The enemy is seeing double and we're not. We don't have that ability. 
But the Lord tries to give us, give, excuse me, he tries to give us that ability via the Holy Spirit. That's why he says, I will be a comforter. He said, I will tell you in spirit and in truth, you can see that thing. If you come to me and you ask me to show you, I'm going to show you great and mighty things to come. I'm going to show you because you're taking the time out your day not to be on TV, not to be on your IG, not to be on your Snapchat, not to be on your Facebook, not to be kikiing and gossiping. No, you taking time to sit with me when you could be doing all types of other things and you are seeking my face. You're literally asking me, how do you want me to do this, Father? Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do for you, baby. I'm going to show you how it goes down. See all this right here? This is what they're really thinking about you. See how you think this one here? Oh, this one, so this and so that. They don't even care about you. You see how this one here, you focus on them because you're trying to chase them to get that. You're trying to impress this when you're trying to put that out there. Oh, well, see, this is what they're really saying about you when they see that. See, y'all, we have the ability to see double if we rely on the Holy Spirit while we're here on earth. And that could actually prevent us from being big mad because what ends up happening is the enemy sees that you're not taking your resource for granted. You're not taking that for granted. You are literally saying, okay, you know what, Lord? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to handle this like this. Okay? I'm going to handle this like this. I'm going to seek your face. I want you to tell me what's popping. And then I'm going to move from there. So, y'all, you see, when you big mad, when you big mad, that not only inflates your ego, but it changes your posture with God. It makes you ornery. It makes you angry. It makes you mean. It makes you um, un uh, intolerable. It's all of the things that makes the enemy beam with pride. You can see all his little rotten teeth smiling at you. So I want you to think about that. Let me give you your tip. I give a tip at the, each of, end, at the end of each of these. A lot of little tongue twisters. Y'all see that, huh? But I think sometimes when the Holy Spirit is flowing, I'm talking fast. Uh, I might stutter a little bit, but it's okay. You know, I, I'm getting over it. It's cool. I just, you know, y'all my people. So I keep it 100 with y'all, you dig? <laughs> But yeah, so big mad. When you big mad and you start suffering from anger and frustration, here's your tip. What's the opposite of anger and frustration? You got to seek peace. You got to chill, man. Fam, you got to chill. You got to chill. If you're going to be big anything, be big happy. Be big blissful. You feel me? Don't waste your energy on that. If you're listening to me right now and you are, you're like, girl, hell broke loose last week. Girl, a couple of days ago, I was so mad. I kept doubting God and asking him, but today I am P.O.'d. I am so mad. I am full of fury right now. If, if, if I'm hitting a nerve right now with you while I'm talking, number one, y'all know how I get down. Be encouraged because you ain't good company. You're not the only person feeling like that. You're not the only person feeling like that. But this is what I want to tell you. You can stay being the only person like that if you don't pay attention to the opportunity you have now to elevate and expand. This is your choice. I don't. Ha Again, I told y'all in the first episode, I don't have no magic tricks. I, can't, I don't have nothing to give you to make something shake. All I can tell you is what I know has worked for me. It's not easy. And I'll tell you this too. It is so important. That you not only go straight to God, but y'all get you a spiritual mentor, a spiritual mother, a spiritual father. Well, some people don't believe in saying spiritual mother, but to each his own child. I don't got time to be figuring that out. People can do what they want with that. But just find you somebody that you can trust that's not, that somebody maybe, and you know, wisdom doesn't have to do with age necessarily. So I don't want to say older, but just, I know the word I'm looking for. Find somebody seasoned. That's the word. Because a seasoned person may be younger than you. But find someone seasoned, pray, and ask the Lord to put somebody in your life who is seasoned that you can listen to that, that can help you in these times because you will need somebody to help talk you off the ledge. You will need somebody to help you to temper that anger. You will need somebody with wisdom and understanding, a little bit of seasoning to help you catch the flavor of what it is that God is trying to do for you. You don't want to miss that because you are completely in a tirade because hell done broke loose with the attacks. God is that you with the doubt. And now you're big mad with the anger and frustration. We got to shut that down, right? Got to shut it down. Okay. So if you are big mad, 
Go to God and start to immediately ask him for peace. Lord, give me the peace that surpasses all understanding. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be so mad sometime. You ain't going to want to say nothing. You, you actually going to be mad with God. If we quiet as it's kept, quiet as it's kept, you're going to be mad with him. So seek his face. Be, uh, be at the foot of the cross. Leave all that there with him because you don't want to take that with you. That anger will block you from that breakthrough. Don't let the anger block you from your, your breakthrough. Be sure-footed, be steadfast and unmovable, and seek the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Unwired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.